What do you make of this idea now of Rodgers being in a position where he is the superstar and he's got the first-round kid there now in the camp with him? Well, I think he has absolutely nothing to worry about. I think, you know, he even went on a podcast and was talking about how he was a little surprised that the draft pick poured himself a stiff drink and knew it was going to be one of those kind of nights on draft night. <laughs> but he understood. He, he knows who he is as a competitor, as a person, as a quarterback, all those things. He's so solid, like you said, and so entrenched as a starter. He's got nothing to worry about. In my tenure, uh, listen, I was competing at times, and it's hard to give away information to somebody who's trying to take your job. So in some ways, uh, Aaron's in, in a much better position. And listen, he's got nothing to worry about. I think all he wanted was more weapons in the draft, not necessarily a, a younger quarterback that he's supposed to groom. But he'll work with it, and, and he's one of the best of all time, and he'll show it once again this year. Jeff Darlington's with us this morning. Jeff, what do you think of all this? I find it interesting. I, look, it's not that easy, as, as Mark just alluded to, to really give that knowledge to a younger guy. Like, I know we're all kind of probably accustomed to saying, well, of course he's going to tell him how to do this. But Peyton Manning notoriously never gave up reps to his backups. Tom Brady uh, had a good relationship with Jimmy G. Like, they were friendly, but he wasn't giving any of his backups advice either. I remember RG3 once telling me that they had a joint practice with Tom Brady and RG3 went up to Tom and asked him, like, hey, Tom, when you did this here, what exactly happened there? And Tom just turned to him and said, hey, maybe when I retire, I'll give you some advice. But for <laughs> now, uh, I got to stay quiet. I mean, that, like, that's how a lot of these guys operate. So I, I actually think we probably owe Aaron a little bit more credit here than uh, we might be accustomed to giving him. Kind of like that story. Lewis, what do you think? You, you see that video. We've talked endlessly, you and I, about this circumstance. It now is what it is. He's got him there. He's not getting another receiver, at least not at this moment. What are you seeing there? I'm seeing tremendous maturity on the part of Aaron Rodgers. I'm seeing someone who understands his place both with the Packers and in the NFL overall in terms of how he's going to be viewed historically as one of the greats to ever play this game. And I think, you know, Jeff alluded to something and Mark alluded to something that, look, I've, I've seen many times in my own career, and that's this. Veterans aren't required to groom anybody. It's not in your contract to groom your successor. Coaches don't come up to you and say, hey, you have to groom this guy who we drafted or brought in to take your spot. You do that if you want to. You do that if you feel as though that's something that, you're comfortable doing or you're at a place where you feel so secure that if you're on this team or if you in Aaron Rodgers case know that in the future you're going to be somewhere else if you're this secure knowing that that and you're okay with that he doesn't have to do this so I, I think what we're seeing from him is a level of maturity that I think is surprising many people and taking many people aback especially considering how what his initial reaction was which you can't fault him for I mean it'd be the same if any of us were in that situation and you saw right play out right in front of you Someone drafting or bringing in your replacement or your eventual replacement, what do you think you're going to do? You're not going to sit there and go, yay, woohoo. You're not going to sit there and clap. You're going to sit, you're going to go, well, damn. I mean, okay. So, I mean, so the fact that the fact that he actually is right now helping this young man out, we can learn a lot from Aaron Rodgers right now. That's for sure. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.